Well, it's another day with the comp car. Uh, if you saw in the last video, I actually picked up a transmission for this thing, and it was the wrong kind. Well, it was the right kind, but it didn't have a, uh, a slip yoke like I needed. This one has a, a, a slip yoke, like I just said, uh, that bolts to your drive shaft through a U-joint. On the one I picked up, it had a bolt-in yoke, and I didn't know that that was a thing that came on these cars. It actually came off of a, uh, what was it? A Dodge Cornette, I believe. I think it was like a 65 Cornette. Right year, everything. I mean, it would have worked. I needed a slip yoke while that one was a bolt-in. He was such a nice guy. He I, he told me that when I bought it, he's like, look, if you if anything's wrong with it or something's wrong with, uh, with the way it fits in the car, you just bring it right back and we'll swap back. And that's what I did. And uh, so he helped me out. He was real nice about it. So I went and took the, I didn't get any video, but I just went ahead and took it back and uh, got my money back, my transmission back. So what I'm just going to do um, like I originally said, I'll just keep this transmission in it until it blows up. If any of you uh, follow Ratty Muscle Cars on Facebook or Instagram, he's having his, uh, his cruise where you end up at the drag strip and you race. I'm taking this thing. I'm not going to race, uh, obviously, because this thing will probably blow up if I try to race it. But I just need to check my belts, uh, make sure that everything's tightened down, and make sure I like, check all my fluids and whatnot. It's not uh, uh, too far of a drive. I've made the trip on the last cruise that he had. Um, it's a really fun trip. I think we do like, uh, I want to say like 20 or 30 miles from where we start and we end up at the drag strip. And it's a it's a really fun cruise. A lot of cars showed up last time. I think we had uh, 40 cars maybe. I took the blue dart last time, but this time I'm going to take the cop car. This thing wasn't ready at the time. I got, got a jack. Got some brake shoes back here that I never used. Um, got some spare belts, some water, water. Um, I don't even know what this is. Oh, these are from where I painted it. Some masks I used. Scotch bright from where I painted it. I wish I would have got a video of that, but I never did. Spark plugs, um, brake hoses. What else do I have? A CB, brake fluid, um, power steering fluid. There's my old master cylinder, I never sent it back. Cool. And some touch-up paint if I ever need it. I got some really cool entries for the end of the video, like the uh, the showcase for the end of the video for you, you guys. And I noticed that one commenter said, what if we don't have Instagram? So what I decided to do was, uh, instead of going through Instagram uh, direct message, I set up an email, and it's just specifically for the fact of you guys showing me your pictures of your cars in a description so here's what i want you to do first thing you need is first and last name and if you have a username for any kind of social media leave that too uh, like at dylan mccool would be for me so leave your social media name and what i want you to do is send me a picture like this of kind of the front and the side of an angle you know just just like that and no more than three so this angle maybe a picture of the engine and maybe interior you know just no more than three and what i want you to do send me those and give me a short description of what you've done to it and how you got it i love you know hearing stories about what you guys have and how you got it where it came from what you've done to it so easy stuff name instagram name or twitter name or anything like that you want um pictures and description that's three things that's all you got to do and I want you to send it to this email right here. I'm gonna use this black surface to make it easy to see. So I'll leave that up for a second. So write it down, or if you don't get it right now, I'll leave it in the description. That's all you have to do. And I'm sure since you have a YouTube account and you're watching this, surely you have some sort of email. So if you want your pictures, to be if you want your car to be featured at the end of the video that's all you got to do so now now that i've got this thing ready to go for tomorrow i'm going to go ahead and end the video on this day right here and then the next part is going to be the next day getting ready for the show
won a trophy every time. I think that's a clean car. Yeah, I would totally not sell this car. But see how it's set up, you know, with the with your air compressor and then your lines. Yeah. And this car's got a 77 pedigree. Uh -huh. No, I want to sell it for 35. Man, y'all talking me out of trying to sell in my car. Like, <laughs> first of all, you're selling it for 35 and it's got 77 pedigree. Yeah. You got another, you got another like 50. My wife, she says it's the ugliest car she's ever seen in her life. Surely not. Well, she's she's not rid of her then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man, and that's the way it is. I don't know.
cruise with the Ready Bustle Car Bunch was a success. I ended up doing 154 miles for my round trip, getting there, doing the cruise, and then driving back home. So it was a great time, and if you ever want to go to one of these, uh, the next one, I believe, will be on September 24th at Wilson Morgan Park in Decatur, Alabama. Um, just show up that morning, and you don't have to have a cool car just to show up and check out what we all got going on. And we had a great time just hanging out with friends and talking and just uh, racing and having a great time. I even took the cop car down the uh, eighth mile. I just drove it. I didn't push it hard because I had a, a fan belt that was slipping, but still it was a really fun time. Uh, be on the lookout for their video. I'll leave links in the description for their Instagram and Facebook and uh, check out their social media. Be sure to give them a like and a follow if you want to see more of this stuff. Uh, and just a little tiny update of what's to come with the petty truck. I'll go into more detail in a later episode. But like I say always, guys, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I appreciate all of you watching. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll see you in the next one.